you have been asking this for quite a long time suggest me some good mobile app for video editing and yes if you are following me on instagram i have already shared that many times on instagram and that app is vn video editing app so in this video as you asked i'm going to give a complete breakdown of how to edit with vn video editing app edit like a pro with vm video editor you can do all the stuff that you do on a pc editing software with this video editor like green screen speed ramp color grading everything and it is completely free so let's start with the bottom tabs on the app so if you go inside here you have the home button on the bottom left corner so if you just click on it you'll have all the projects that you have worked on on the screen and at the top you have a creator or creation kit let's discuss on that later and next we have the create option where you have option to create a new project let's discuss about that later and the third option is discover it's kind of a social media where many people from the world just post their images and videos and the last one is a profile option where you can just sign in with your email id and password so that you can also post your videos and images in this vn video editor app itself so these are the basic tabs at the bottom and at the top you have a creation kits where you have options like starting with tutorials so if you just click on it it's directing to the youtube site of vn editor where you have many tutorials below you can see my name and here is a subscribe button just click on it and make sure you subscribe the second button is template where you have many templates to just try out so i will show you how to edit with the template Uh, so let's select one template and just download it with the button download at the bottom and once downloaded you can just click on use template so it will ask us to randomly select the images or videos that we want to just import into that template so i'm just selecting few videos and just click next it will process and we have a template video so the transitions and how the video looks is already been just given as a template which plays like this so you can also directly export this and just upload to your social media and have fun guys so that's how template works this is one video made with template options in vn video editor so next option we have is the filters so here we have added three filters you can add your own filters so only cube files can be added so make a note of it next we have music here displays all the music from our mobile so you can also add music from link or library or you can extract from a video and you have more options and sound effects similar way we can import sound effects into the vn video editor gallery from a link or a music library or from a video or even from file manager so next we have fonts so we already have some default fonts in the app but you can also import fonts from google so you can just directly download the fonts from google and directly import into vn video editor app next we are going to see how to create a new project just click on the plus button at the bottom here you have many options just click on new project we are going to edit some video and see all the options so let's see first all the options available on the timeline so the plus button at the bottom track will add a video on the same track so if you click on the second track you can add a video like this you can add up to 5 video layers video or images i am just simply showing how we can add an image so i have added my image you have many options like animation that is motion you have in out animation out animation loop animation everything is possible with this animation option that is motion option that you see above and so next we have a keyframe option i am just selecting the keyframe button now a point is created on the video i am just moving the image to another end and moving the track to the end and creating another keyframe so now if you play and see the image will move from one end to another see simple keyframing like this can be done in vn editor itself So next we have duplicate option where we can create a duplicate video of that particular track and last we have the delete option so we can delete that so now let's remove this photo and add a track over this track so i'm just selecting one more track and i'm just going to add it over this video 
so we have two videos over the main video so i'm just uh, reframing it we can zoom out to just reduce the size of that video so both the videos are at the right corner so if you click any one of the video and select the motion option you have various motions so here you have a fade option spin option slide option so other than just in animation you also have out animation and loop animations that you can try on videos so the next option we have here is the text option where you can add a sample text and you can also do those motion animations or keyframing everything can be done on a text also so here i am just adding a text as biker or something like that and now we can also change the font style you can also add stroke to the text we can also change the color of the text and we can also increase the size of the text there are many presets that we can try so here we can also select backgrounds to a text we can also add stroke that is borders for a text we can also add shadow we can also increase or reduce the opacity of a text every single thing can be done here Let's see how we can animate this text by moving from one end to another end. So simply I'm just keeping the text here, adding the keyframe and let's move to the end of the timeline and create another keyframe by just simply moving the text. So that's how we can create a movement of the text on a video. So here we also have presets to just assign the speed of the movement. So next we have options to add music where you can select any music from your mobile or you can also choose uh, sound effects to add on your videos so i'm just simply adding some sound effect that's already available on the vn editor so this library has all the basic sound effects that someone needs for editing so i think this is more than enough for uh, sounds that you are just checking you can also increase or decrease the volume and increase the fade in fade out effect that is when the sound starts and the sound ends that portion uh, like you can create a softness of the sound so that portion volume can be adjusted through these options and we don't have uh, equalizer options for sounds that's a drawback here and we can simply increase or decrease the length of a track by simply dragging it at both the ends so i'm just dragging at the end and reducing the length of those tracks so moving on next at the top we have options to change the layout of a video so you can just convert from 9 is to 16 to 16 is to 9 or 1 is to 1 based on your need we can just select the layout and at the top left you have a question mark option which shows more tutorials that will help you to learn more about vn video editing so this is one simple tip just zoom in to increase the timeline size so likewise you have many tutorials here you can just check any of them to learn more on vn and next at the bottom we have many options so let's see one by one so here is the template option that we discussed earlier so let's ignore that moving on to the next one is the filter option where you can just select any filter you can simply adjust the contrast hue saturation sharpness there are a lot of options here you can simply adjust that and create cool color grading so next we have the speed button just clicking on it you have two options one is curve and second one is regular so in curve you have many presets where you can just simply uh, select them so that it will the speed will vary according to the presets in the regular option you can just simply increase or decrease the speed of the entire video so let's go back to the curve and just try to create a speed ramp here i'm just reducing the speed of this video at that point and i wanted to create another point so to create another point you just need to just click and hold at a particular place where you want to change the speed so at this place i'm just clicking and holding where a new point is created i'm just dropping the speed to the bottom So just click on add point that has been popping up so that a point is created. So now if you play and see at that particular point the speed is totally reduced. So simply you can create speed ramp in your mobile. It's not that easy to create speed ramp in even PC software, but in VN video editor speed ramping is as simple as that.
So next we are back on the timeline where you have the split button. So split button is just to cut your video. So it's a basic cut. So before that, let's just move these tracks to the top so that we just justify this 9 is to 16 ratio. So I'm just moving the videos top and bottom. So we have a three layer video. So three layer video is made very simple in VN Video Editor. So you must try that to just post on your Instagram and other social media. So uh, as I said earlier, the split button is just used to cut a track. You can just cut them, delete. So all these basic editing can be done with the help of split and trim option is also available nearby where you can just trim a particular video based on your need. You have those sliders to adjust that particular point or seconds that should be available. So trim option is used for that. And next we have FX. So FX is simply awesome thing that VM has. You can just add any effect at a particular point of your video. So this is kind of a strobe effect that I have tried adding. Uh, you also have shake effects and there are a lot of effects that you can try. A spin effect, strobe effect. Likewise, there are many effects that you can try on your videos with this FX option available on the VN editor. This is simply awesome guys, just try out. So next we have delete, that's not required now. And then we have volume, so if you want to reduce the volume, you can just use it. The next one we have is background where you can just add a colored background or a blur background for your videos with the help of BG option. And the next one is crop where you can just try cropping your videos based on your needs. So that's simply user friendly. And then we have mirroring option and also flip option that will help you to just mirror or flip your videos. And the next one is freeze button. So freeze button is just to create a three seconds or five seconds freezed frame of that particular point where you are timeline is paused. So if you just pause your video and click on the freeze button, that particular frame is created with 3 seconds. So you have an image for 3 seconds of that particular frame. That is simply awesome, right? As simple as that. So next we have the reverse option to just simply reverse your video. It will take some few seconds to just simply reverse your video. Next we have zoom option where you can just simply use to zoom in zoom out or move your videos. So some of the options are not available for the main track but they are available for the second track that is the track above. So if I just click on the second track we have few more options like blending. So blending is an option like how the video blends with the first track. So if you just move the video to the top. You can adjust the opacity and if you go inside blending you can also select if it, if it should be overlay or if it should multiply. You have many blending options that you can try out. And we also have fit or fill options that will help you to fit or fill the video on the screen. And one more option you have here is masking. Masking is one tough thing that will be hard to do on PC itself But here you have simple masking options like linear masking, mirror masking and radial masking So you must try out masking at VN Video Editor And the last option we have here is the chroma key option. So this is simply to replace a plain background like green screen or blue screen videos. If you want to just remove that green color, you can just use the picker and select that green. And now we have simply removed the green background of that subscribe call out. So yes guys, don't forget to subscribe. And one option I forgot to say here is you can also record your voice directly in VN Video Editor app. So that's simply awesome. So one simple app for everything. So yes guys, that's it for today's video. We have just Pirichi Mianjachi which means like dismantled everything of the app from VN. So I hope this video was really helpful and thank you for staying till now. If you're new here, do hit that subscribe button. And if you had already subscribed, make sure you just click that bell icon to get regularly notified whenever I make a video. So.
yes guys that's it for today's video we'll meet you in the next video until then it's your care you signing off